And we're going to begin with this. A manhunt is underway in Canada after an American woman and her Australian boyfriend were found dead. China Deese and Lucas Fowler were on a road trip in northern British Columbia. Police in Fowler's native Australia say it appears they were both shot. Nikki Batiste is following this story. Nikki, what a terrible, terrible story. The details are haunting. What do we know? Tony, it is terrible. Good morning. Well, Canadian police aren't saying how exactly the couple died, but they are investigating these deaths as homicides. They are asking anyone with information or dash cam footage from a remote highway where they were found to come forward. Meanwhile, Deese's family is calling her death devastating. She was really adventurous, really outgoing. Stetson Deese describes his 24-year-old sister, China, as a free spirit who traveled the world, oftentimes with her boyfriend, Lucas Fowler. They were both extremely nice, uh, both very optimistic and also spontaneous. The couple was road tripping in northern British Columbia. Their bodies were found last Monday by their van on a highway near the Liard Hot Springs, a popular tourist destination. It's not yet clear whether Lucas and China were targeted or if this was an opportunity, a crime of opportunity. Curtis and Sandra Broughton say they met Deason Fowler shortly before their deaths. The Broughtons pulled over to help the couple with their broken down van and left when it appeared they knew how to fix it. We were there to help them, but yet that same day, the complete opposite of humanity um, hurt them like that and killed them so tragically. The deaths happened near the so-called Highway of Tears. 48 Hours has previously reported on that notorious remote stretch of road where at least 18 women in the last 40 years have disappeared or been found murdered. At this point, we have nothing to indicate that their deaths are linked to any other active and ongoing investigations. Stetson D says he always felt his sister was safe traveling, especially while with Fowler. He believes the couple was going to get engaged soon. It's like a nightmare that we'll never wake up from. Fowler's father is a police officer in Australia, and he and other officers are now in Canada. Deesa's brother told us her passport was found in the van, but it appears the couple's other IDs may be missing, and this is just a horrific mm -hmm. case. And it's so bizarre. And the Highway of Tears, they call it 18 women? Yes, and at the moment, it's, a, it's hundreds of miles long, but they uh, two other teens may be missing, and another body was found about 400 miles away, but this highway is notorious. Yeah, wow. so and they're saying it's not connected. They are saying they don't know yet if th they're connected. Wow. It's got to be worse to know that you lose a loved one this way, but it's got to be even worse not to know why, how, what could have possibly happened to them. The family, has, alone. The family has lots of questions. Yes, and a few yeah, we all do. Thank you, Nikki.